Good evening, everyone. Our big story tonight. Let the betting begin. Betting on everything from basketball to golf is one step closer to reality. Here's what happened today. The Supreme Court struck down a decades old law clearing the way for most states, maybe Arizona even, to offer legal gambling on sports. The decision effectively breaks up a monopoly that was long held by Nevada. Right now, Americans spend an estimated $150 billion a year on sports gambling, and that's illegal sports gambling. So how will this impact Arizona? Team 12's Bram Resnick is verifying it for us. Bram? A lot of people seem to be betting on sports gambling, paying for many of the state's basic needs like education. But we verified a lot has to happen before we can even have that discussion. Governor Doug Ducey is cheering a landmark U.S. Supreme Court ruling that lets states legalize sports gambling. This is positive news, the governor tweeted. This ruling gives Arizona options that could benefit our citizens and our general fund. Everything from daily fantasy sports to betting on sports is illegal here in Arizona. The question now is, would legal betting on sports transform Arizona stadiums into virtual casinos, gushing cash? Nationwide, Americans spend an estimated $150 billion a year on illegal sports betting. States could pull in a projected $5 billion a year combined in new revenue. So there's a lot of big policy issues at play here uh, in making those decisions. We verified there are three key players in those policy decisions. Start with Arizona's tribes. Their two dozen casinos pay out $80 million a year to the state. Governor Ducey is renegotiating the state's gambling agreement with those tribes. Sports betting will be part of those talks, according to Stephen Lewis, governor of the Gila River Indian community. Lewis said in a statement, we are looking forward to discussing with the state how we can go about working together on developing this opportunity, which could be a win-win for the state of Arizona and Arizona tribes. Arizona's legislature would have to sign off on legalizing sports betting. Some members are game. Two years ago, a bill that would have legalized fantasy sports betting failed. Finally, Major League team owners and commissioners might be the biggest players. The NBA, NFL and Major League Baseball all want Congress to create nationwide regulations for sports betting. The leagues have all lobbied legislatures for a cut of that betting. And there are a lot of questions about how much money sports gambling could ultimately deliver to Arizona. Some estimates show it might be less than the $80 million a year from tribal gambling. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thanks. Another